Three days of clashes between demonstrators and security forces in Egypt have left at least 33 people dead and more than 1,500 injured. The protests are putting increasing pressure on the military council to speed up the transition to a civilian led government. David Enders reports from Cairo. The violence began on Saturday morning after riot police evicted a couple hundred demonstrators who were attempting to reoccupy Tahrir Square, which was the focal point of the demonstrations that drove Egyptian dictator Hosni Mubarak from power in February. The square has been cleared forcibly by the police and military twice since March. The demonstrators were mostly men who had been injured during what Egyptians refer to as the January 25th Revolution. Among them as well were relatives of some of the nearly 1,000 people who were killed by security forces in January and February before Mubarak stepped down. One of those injured was Ala, who came from Kina, about 10 hours' drive south of Cairo. In the morning, they, they sent the police and uh, uh, kicked us here. Uh, they threw us away, and uh, after that, we, there, we, we go there for our friends, the other victims, other. Uh, after that, they, they uh, hate us again and there and here and, every, uh, and everywhere. Well, we escaped, really, because, and we are injured. And all of them, here, and all the people, here, you can see. And they, they have no mercy, okay, with us. Since Mubarak's departure, the country has been ruled by the Supreme Council of the Armed Forces, made up of the same officers who served on the council while Mubarak was in charge. The demonstrators are demanding that the military council speed its proposed transition to a civilian government, as they have been since Friday, when tens of thousands demonstrated peacefully. On Monday, demonstrators were calling directly for Field Marshal Hussein Tentawi, the head of the military council, to step down without delay. Protesters continued to break pieces of the sidewalk in the square into rock-sized pieces, facing off against tear gas, buckshot, and live ammunition. Snipers were reported on rooftops early Monday morning, as demonstrators set up field hospitals. One of the doctors was Tariq Salam, who was taking a break from treating injuries shortly before the field hospital he was working at was hit with tear gas on Sunday evening. Shotguns, plenty of shotguns, cut wounds, suffocation, um, bruises, especially when the military uh, came, many bruises. I think they will storm us again. They will, they will go on and clear the, the square again. It took people coming out of the hospital, wounded guys. Just arrested them when, when they are on their way out. Despite the unrest, the military council, as of Monday evening, said it still planned to go forward with the country's first parliamentary election since Mubarak's ouster, which have been scheduled to begin next week. The Muslim Brotherhood, which appears to be the best organized and perhaps most popular political party in the country, has condemned the violence but not encouraged its supporters to join the demonstrations. As the last spoke in Tahrir Square, his fellow protesters tried to revive a demonstrator who had apparently passed out after being tear gassed. We are not with the, the Brotherhood of Ikhwan Muslimin, okay? We are not with any party, we are not with any anything. We just Egyptian. That we are been here on 25th of January. After that, we've been here on 28th on all the revolution days. And we are still, we are the real hero of the revolution. We don't care about any riot for us. We need only. You can see. You can see. Hey, the injuries from the revolution, too. By Monday evening, more than 1,500 people had been injured and demonstrations had begun in other cities in support of those in Tahrir, with more demonstrations planned for Tuesday. David Enders, FSRN, Cairo.